Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really great this morning. And so we will be taking a look at all that is happening across the North Atlantic. There are a couple of tropical waves and models are still hinting at development. So before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, so let us get things kickstarted with the North Atlantic and here we can see that there is some activity across the main development region and as I said, there are a couple of tropical waves. Another is going to be emerging from the coast of Africa very soon. So that one there is approaching the Lesser Antilles. There we can see some showers and thunderstorms in association with it. So it is likely to bring some activity to Barbados and then uh, there is that next one not too far from northeastern South America and that's other one behind it produced in all that shower and thunderstorm activity now that one is what models think uh, might develop and others think that uh, the next wave that will be merging behind it will actually be the one to develop into something so pretty interesting here uh, let's zoom into the Caribbean and see what is happening first uh, let's go on to northern South America and we can definitely see all this shower and thunderstorm activity across some spots in Colombia Venezuela uh, mainly some clouds cover across Guyana, parts of Guyana, but things get a lot clearer in Suriname and French Guiana. ABC Islands dry and sunny as per usual uh, today, and then uh, looking over into parts of Central America, a bit of activity in some spots in Panama. All right, let's head further up north, and here we can see uh, that there isn't a whole lot happening, mainly some scattered showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Northern Caribbean. Also into Central America, we see a bit more activity uh, in some spots in Belize but that is going to be dissipating soon that little blob of showers and thunderstorms going up to the Bahamas there isn't much happening for the Turks and Caicos Islands pretty much in the clear right now so nothing much is going on uh, for those areas but as I said over in the Leicester Antilles there's that tropical wave which is approaching and that is likely going to be resulting in more showers and thunderstorms across the area through today all right, now we're moving on to the rainfall total maps here. We're starting out with GFS, and as it becomes more colorful, more rainfall is expected. And here we can certainly see that GFS is expecting quite a bit of rainfall across some spots in Central America, coming down to Northern South America, as well as for the Leicester, Antilles, and parts of the Northern Caribbean. So GFS certainly expecting that there is going to be some rainfall activity through today. Again, for the Leicester, Antilles, that tropical wave moving through the rainfall might be heavy at times uh, for some areas and a lot of rainfall in a very short amount of time can result in some flash flooding so please be aware of that ABC Islands going to be in the clear as I said and then across parts of Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands Hispaniola going to Cuba Jamaica even the Cayman Islands there might be some periods of heavy rainfall especially as we head to this afternoon and similar story as we head up to parts of the northern Bahamas as well as Florida and then going on to the Euro model now here is expecting that uh, we're going to be seeing something pretty much similar here not showing as much rainfall for some spots but overall the same general expectation here so many areas in the caribbean expected to receive uh, quite a bit of rainfall activity as we head through today and so guys next we want to go ahead and take a look at the saharan air layer map and so as we take a look at it seeing more of those areas of oranges and reds that is where there is a lot more dry air in abundance so there we can see that most of that activity in association with the waves is to the south of that mass of dry air which extends across the main development region and this is a huge inhibiting factor once that dry air starts infiltrating we're going to be seeing those uh, thunderstorms dissipating uh, many models are expecting that it is going to be that next tropical wave that emerges uh, which will be the one to develop into something and so let's now go ahead and take a look at what they are showing and we're going to be starting out with GFS here now this is as we're going to be heading into next week uh, the middle part of next week next Wednesday and there you can see some of that activity uh, in association with the tropical wave the next one to emerge expected to approach the Caribbean and then as we head into Monday uh, Sunday night of the following week there we see all of that increase in moisture across parts of florida the bahamas and even the northwestern caribbean and then into tuesday august 15th the middle of the month here we're seeing that gfs is expecting something a tropical storm to make landfall along the gulf coast of the u.s so gfs has been pretty consistent about this happening 
Euro, on the other hand, is not expected that we'll be seeing too much happen with the system. So as we're going to be heading into uh, next week, going to next Tuesday, there we're seeing all that moisture in association with those two tropical waves. And the model is not expecting that we will be seeing development. The icon model expects something pretty much similar as we're going to be heading into Wednesday of next week, showing that uh, first tropical wave in the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean, the next one approaching the islands. And uh, seeing this is uh, depicting what I'm expecting because there's so much dry air out there, so I'm not expecting that we're going to be seeing much development of either tropical wave uh, as it makes its way, as they make their way to the Caribbean. So I think that development would be slow across the main development region, but once conditions are more conducive, then we could certainly see something intensifying there. But then the Canadian model continues to be robust, not showing much for that current uh, tropical wave out there, but expecting that the next one will be developing on approach to the northeastern islands of the Caribbean and eventually showing that something could be entering the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, GFS and the Canadian model are both expecting something quite similar here. Uh, but GFS showing something a bit on the weaker side and intensified into a tropical cyclone as it makes its way into the Gulf. Meanwhile, the Canadian model expects that we will have a strong system maybe entering the Gulf of Mexico. So this is pretty interesting here. And uh, these all these scenarios that we see these different models expecting are not impossible because we're talking about something more than a week from now. So there are bound to be changes with the model runs and the updates several times a day so let's see what's going to be happening but I'm here to keep you guys posted and as I said I don't expect that we will see much uh, as the systems make their way across the main development region because of all the dry air but uh, if say one of them enters the Caribbean or stays to the north of the Caribbean and things are more conducive then yeah we will definitely see some intensification especially with those above average sea surface temperatures and uh, closer to the time frame heading into next Next week uh, we will have a better picture of what could happen and so guys uh, that is pretty much it on those tropical waves and finally we're talking about Dora so as I expected yesterday uh, the cyclone actually intensified a bit more after the completion of its eye wall replacement cycle it's strengthened up to 140 miles per hour those were sustained winds so it was a strong category for a hurricane but since then it has weakened slightly winds now at 100 130 miles per hour still a cat 4 and it will slowly weaken conditions will be conducive enough for it to remain a hurricane throughout uh, the early part of next week and uh, eventually pass well to the south of the Hawaiian Islands but it could kick up the surf and so guys that is what I wanted to share with you in this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I will respond once I get the chance and as always remember to be with the wise